Hello, in this video we're going to look at the basics of profit maximization using calculus. So a firm has a revenue and cost functions given by the following. Revenue or total revenue is 45q minus 1.5q squared, where q is the quantity of the firm's output. And the firm's total cost given by c equals 12 plus q squared. So method one, we want to find the profit maximizing output level and level of profit for this firm. So method one is to solve for marginal revenue and marginal cost, and then we're going to equate those two equations. So let's first get marginal revenue. It's the derivative of the revenue, or R function, with respect to quantity. So the derivative of 45q is 45, and the derivative of minus 1.5q squared We'll simplify down to minus 3q. Just bring the 2 down in front, so 2 times 1.5 is where this 3 is coming from. And then on the exponent, it's 2 minus 1, leaving us with q just raised to the power of 1, or just q. Marginal cost is the derivative of the cost function with respect to the quantity of output. So the derivative of 12 is 0, and the derivative of q squared is just 2q. We set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So our two equations that we just found, we set them equal to one another, and we're going to solve for q. Adding 3q to both sides, we get 5q. And then dividing through by 5, the profit maximizing output is 9. To calculate the total profit, we're going to get revenue. So we take our revenue function and we plug in 9 for q and we simplify. And then we get our cost. What is the cost of producing 9 units of output? Plug this 9 into the cost function and we get $93. And profit, we'll just use the symbol pi here for profit, which is revenue minus cost, will equal $190.50. So that's method one. Method two is we're going to create a profit function, and from that we're going to solve for marginal profit, which we'll set equal to zero. So we're going to set up a giant profit function, revenue minus cost. So here's our revenue equation, and I'm subtracting out our cost equation. So I'm su subtracting out the 12 for fixed cost, and I'm subtracting out minus q squared, which would represent our variable cost. So we're going to get marginal profit, which is just the increase in profit from producing one more unit of output, or the change in profit from producing one more unit of output. So it's a derivative of the total profit function with respect to q. And the derivative of 45q is 45. The derivative of minus 1.5q squared is minus 3q. Derivative of minus 12 is 0. And the derivative of minus q squared is minus 2q. We set that result equal to 0. In calculus, we do that to find a maximum or a minimum, in this case a maximum. And now we're just going to solve for q. And you've kind of seen this result from the last screen. We're going to get 5q equals 45 or q equals 9. And again, we could plug that back into the profit function to calculate the total profit. Let's do one more example different revenue and cost functions this time. So we're going to just do method one here. I'll get marginal revenue and we'll get back 1600 minus Q. So 2 times 0 0.5 is just going to be 1 here so we get minus Q. And marginal cost is just simply 200. Setting those equations equal and solving for Q, Q equals 1400. And if we wanted to get total profit, we could just plug this 1400 into the revenue function and then subtract out the cost at 1400 units of output. Okay, I'll stop here.